Another scripture that surprised me, and there will be many of these, is this one. Revelation 7 and verse 9. After this I saw, and look, a great crowd which no man was able to number, out of all nations and tribes and peoples and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, dressed in white robes, and there were palm branches in their hands. Stop. Did anybody ever question and ask, standing before the throne? Where is the throne? And this is where deception happens, because they're counting on the fact that you don't know your Bible, that you won't read it in context. Because take a look at this. The Bible answered itself and tell you where the throne of God is. Revelation chapter 4 and verse 1. After this I saw and look an open door in heaven. And the first voice that I heard speaking with me was like a trumpet saying, Come up here and I will show you the things that must take place. After this I immediately came to be in the power of the Spirit and look. A throne was in its position in heaven and someone was seated on the throne and it goes on to describe our Lord the throne is in heaven it's in heaven not to be grim but there is a saying that they used to say about slaves that if you don't want them to know the secrets to anything hide it in a book well, I'll extend that to this, not that we're slaves or anything like that, but if you don't want somebody to know the truth, just put it in a book. They won't read the whole thing. Nobody's going to read it in context, or so they hope.